cherry bomb. Gross. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I need to choose my words better. <laughs> Good morning, evening, beautiful people. We're Blackboard Bitches. I'm Ant. I'm Myra. And today, before we even get into the subject, I would like to do a friendly PSA reminder to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. If you're returning to us, thank you so much. We love you. And today's topic is going to be, what is today's topic? Do you know? I have no idea. I know. It's about a 13-year-old daddy. Ew. Right? Isn't that crazy? Okay, so the story goes like this. It's a 13 year old boy who's supposed to be one of the youngest fathers in history right now. And he has a fresh newborn baby. <laughs> when I first heard this story, I was like, What? A 13 year old? Can they even make babies at 13? And then I was like, Well, you hit puberty a certain age, and those swimmers are gonna start working at some time, right? That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> so I read the article, and basically, he was like a little outsider kind of kid. He was fresh out of grade school, he went into high school. He didn't really click with all the other high schooler kids. He liked to hang out with kids older than him which I relate I can understand and then he meets up with this girl who hangs around the neighborhood she's 15 y'all and this kid is 13 so one day she comes up to him after getting to know each other for a little bit and she comes up to him when she's eight months pregnant and she says go away <laughs> she comes up to him and says I'm pregnant at eight months Oh my god. She walks up to a 13 year old friend of hers and says, I'm pregnant. When you're 13 and you hear that, you're like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then she drops it on him. How did this even happen? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But the story gets juicier. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. So she drops the news on him. He has a panic attack. Completely understandable. He tells his parents, who oh, flipped the f out. Understandable. Yeah. They only have like a month or so to get everything together for this nursery. And he has the kid. She has the kid. Excuse me. And it's a beautiful little girl. She's gorgeous. I'll drop pictures of the family in a little bit. But she has the girl. He asks her. Am I the dad? And she says. Yes. You are the dad. So he just takes her word for it. And then later on, since this is getting so much news and so much spread out there in Britain, that they're always being covered, two other boys come forward and say, Oh, well, I had relations with her too. I can be the dad. What the fuck? Right? Who's watching these children? Where are the parents? Honestly. I don't know. But it gets even juicier. How? It, it, it's a messy cherry bomb. Gross. I didn't even think about that. I need to choose my words better. <laughs> These kids get tested, all of them. And it turns out the 13 year old wasn't even the dad. It was one of the other boys. And I'll put pictures of those too. I don't remember how old he was. I think he was 14. But it turns out one of the other boys who stepped forward was the dad. And he was like, I didn't even know that it would be a possibility that I could be the father. I was just putting it out there because we only did it one time. I didn't expect to have a baby out of having relations unprotected one time. Oh my gosh, the sex ed <laughs> system <laughs> is failing our generation. So after this 13 year old like fell in love with this beautiful baby girl and was looking forward to actually being a dad, his education was all messed up from it. His emotions are all over the place because of it. Now it has to deal with this heartbreak that he actually isn't the father of this baby girl and then and then he told his parents the way he described their relations there was no penetration he was still a virgin y'all i know what you can oh, <laughs> i know you can get pregnant by not actually having intercourse like if the seed is just laying there and she just happens to be around it it'll find its way to the egg but that the chances of that are like really slim to none but it's just like what why didn't you spit this information out earlier? I'm not putting the kid down or anything because he's 13. He's naive. He doesn't know any better. But it's like, 
No one told him. She's breathing really hard over here. And no one told him, nor this 15-year-old. She's 15. How do you not know this? Oh, my gosh. What 15-year-old has sex with a 13-year-old anyway? Why? What the fuck? I don't know. Oh my gosh. And it's crazy though, right? I saw it popped up on my Snapchat and I was like, 13 year old dad, what? Cause we had just did a video. It was like one of our earlier videos to where we were talking about an 11 year old being a dad. And I was like, that is crazy. I don't even think that's physically possible. And then a few weeks later, this story of a 13 year old pops up and you're just like, where are the parents of these possible parents? <laughs> oh, that's awful. Where are they? Honestly. Why are nobody watching these children? That is crazy to me. It's like a living, breathing, full-on Mori episode. It literally is. Let's just... What, what, the, what happened? What happened? Sis, watch your kids. But yeah, so that's my story that I had to talk about today. I just thought it was so crazy. People are absolutely, I can't even, there's no word to describe how awful this is. Like, honestly, are you just not watching your kids? Like, are you not teaching them? What the fuck happened? <laughs> sex ed, man. Lack of sex ed. I know it's a scary topic to talk to about kids and you don't ever feel like the time is right yeah. to talk to them about it. And this is probably like a slim to none chance. But you don't want any 13 year old who has not actually had sex thinking that he's the father of somebody's baby because she told him so. Literally. Like, that... That's how Maury makes his career. <laughs> that is crazy. The story is wrong and worthy. I mean, the story is not, the story is only relevant now. The story happened in 2009, it says, but there's another young kid out in Britain who is around the same age, if not the same age, thinking that he's the father of a 14 year old girl's baby. And he could be, you don't know. But I got so fucking confused because I thought you were going to say There is another young child thinking he was the father of a 14 year old. Wait, what? <laughs> Here's the thing. what? I mean, with the lack of such education these days, it might as well be the same story. Like, I'm your father, <laughs> even though I'm younger than you. Life is crazy. Oh my gosh. Next topic. Next topic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's funny how the camera didn't even see it. That's okay. I <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, anyway. <clears throat> next topic time. So, <laughs> what is the next topic, Myra? There's this discussion going on about this woman who sent her ex, her baby daddy, a photo of her baby nursing. Okay. Even though he's moved on and has another girlfriend or wife. Okay. She sent him a photo of her feeding her baby through breastfeeding. Okay. And so the man responds back, hey, can you not send photos like this to my phone anymore? Because my new girl considers it, considers it to be a nude and I don't want to be disrespectful to her. And so the woman who sent the photo is all like, oh, well, since you and her can't dif What's that word? Different. Differentiate. <laughs> differentiate. Since you and that new girl can't differentiate the difference. <laughs> Since you and that new girl can't figure out the difference between <laughs> breastfeeding and sending nudes, I guess I just won't send you any more photos. So what do you think of that whole situation? I mean, I get it. It's It shouldn't bother the new girlfriend as much as it does. She's probably just more irritated that it's a picture of your ex's boob than yeah. it is of her feeding the baby. So I can respect that there's some guidelines that need to be laid down there. But um, nah, bruh. I wouldn't be as petty as, well, I won't ever send you pictures of our baby again. No, I just, I wouldn't even think to send a picture of me and my boob in my kid's mouth to yeah. my ex with his new chick. That's just not how my brain functions. I, it's, I feel like it's a lack of level of respect, even if it is something as natural as feeding your baby. I kind of think it's weird in the first place. Like people who take pictures of their lips. I mean, yeah, I get it. They're not, it's natural. It's like, I guess a beautiful moment. Yeah, it's a gorgeous between moment. a mom and a kid. Yeah. I just think it's weird if you're going to take a photo of that. <laughs> I mean, unless you're like a photographer and you're trying to 
capture the essence of the beauty but if you're just doing a selfie with like your baby and your titty then it's kind of weird <laughs> it's kind of weird <laughs> they're like all the selfies on instagram like powerful i get those i think they're i think they're honestly beautiful photos i don't find it as weird but i think it's weird to send it to your ex i think it's a little a little petty i feel like i knew what you were doing you knew what you were doing to differentiate yeah you knew what you were doing i feel like there's nothing wrong with the breastfeeding but that's that's a little weird i won't even lie i just i wouldn't do it myself like i wouldn't take a photo of me breastfeeding with my baby <laughs> unless yeah. they're like professional photos and they're going in like a family book or whatever like a but if guide. It's, yeah like that but if it's gonna be like i don't know it's like taking a photo of your lips it's weird you know that was a thing i don't know if it's like a most recent kind of thing but back when myspace was a thing taking photos of your lips of your lips in a picture of your eye one lip and one eye just a picture like this would be th that's a triangle but <laughs> <laughs> Me too. this would be your profile picture just your eye is it like, from lady gaga when she did that and like poker face i don't think so i don't think myspace was still a thing when poker face came out maybe when did it come out know. i don't know i thought it was like nine when it came out Probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know. When did Facebook come out? When I was in high school. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Damn, <dude. laughs> but yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it, but I do see something wrong with it. I'm pretty sure she probably thought in her head it was a beautiful moment and she wanted to share it with the baby daddy or ex and they just took it to where any oh, sane person would take it. Yeah. You're just trying to send me nudes. Mm -hmm. You know I don't want you no more. <laughs> Making my new girl jealous of your perky, milk-filled titties. That's probably what that was about. <laughs> but at least he was respectful with it in yeah. his response. He could have just been like, you nasty, dirty bitch. I don't want you no more. <laughs> my new bitch said your titties <laughs> saggy in the back. Get that oh, no. shit off my phone. Oh. What's your profanity? Oh my god. Could have went that way. What are so the comments on it? Wild, inappropriate, so inappropriate. She's a whore. No, I'm kidding. Those are the comments? <laughs> no. <laughs> but there is one that's all like, that's so inappropriate. So inappropriate. Oh. So inappropriate. <laughs> so inappropriate. That's, that's basically what they all say. Ew, mustard ice cream? <laughs> no, God! <laughs> that's so gross. I don't even like mustard in general. That that's go. gonna be the next fucking short topic. We're gonna like slide this water. topic in real quick since she's on shade room right now. Yeah. Mustard ice cream. Boy, if you don't get mustard ice cream, bruh. Mustard ice cream. First of all, mustard already tastes like fucking dog water. So like I shouldn't even be as triggered as I am, but the dumb shit people just keep coming out with to be shocking or surprising. Really? It's so nasty. We're gonna have doodle pops next? <laughs> Ew. Get that shit out of here. Nobody cares about no mustard ice cream. Because you know how many people are gonna buy it? Too damn many if it's over one. Oh! Nasty. You know, I actually think I wouldn't mind if people did the ice cream challenge, but only with this type of ice cream. <laughs> what if they come out with a sriracha flavored ice cream? That sounds nasty. <laughs> that sounds so nasty. I, that'd be something people would film though and plop up on YouTube. Sriracha ice cream challenge. You better copyright that. Someone's gotta steal this idea. I know, right? <laughs> Mustard ice cream challenge. Jalapeno flavored ice cream challenge. Nasty bastards. <laughs> things just shouldn't be ice cream. No. I think we're good with the basics. What we have now and then some. I can't think of any other outrageous flavors. I like cotton candy ice cream. That's a good idea. That exists. Mm -hmm. Bubble gum ice cream. Vanilla. French vanilla. I like my vanilla ice cream with an insane amount of sprinkles. Set your dentist appointment after you're done with your bowl amount of sprinkles. I like. I don't like Rocky Road. Rocky Road just looks like a mess. So in my head it looks like it tastes like nasty. Chocolate will always be the best in my opinion. I flippin' love chocolate ice cream and I love mint chocolate chip ice cream and if anyone put some fucking mustard in my ice cream I will punch them in the face. I hate mustard. If that's a real thing I want to film for that. Oh my gosh. Me punching someone in the face and no. tricking me with ice cream. <laughs> Eating the mustard ice cream now I want to do it. 
no, I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I want to vomit just from hearing that. I hate mustard. It's so gross. It is gross. It really is gross. But I'll still put it on my bologna sandwich or hot dog. I like a little tang. The only, the only way mustard is good in anything is if it's in a deviled egg and if it's only a little bit of it. That's it. There's the only way. So much mustard in deviled eggs. Just a little bit. At that relish though. Sammy. Sweet relish. Sweet relish. That's okay. how you do it. I think we're pretty much done. We got 13 year olds having babies and then turning out that they're not really the fathers just to have history repeat itself with another 13 and 14 year old. We got breastfeeding baby mamas taking photos and sending it to baby daddies. And then we've got horrible ideas like mustard ice cream. <laughs> I bet someone's gonna be so mad just hearing us say this. They're gonna be like, oh, you know what a horrible idea is? <laughs> oh, that's my gosh. hilarious. If they even make it this far. Honestly, though. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is Blackboard, bitches. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. I can't remember the dance I did for the last video, so I'm gonna just. Do yeah! That. <laughs> Bye, bitches. <laughs> Bye, bitches. <laughs> yeah!